Welcome to Campbell Law School. My name is Grant Simpkins, class of 2019 and Wallace Leadership Fellow. I will be leading you on our virtual tour of our Campbell Law School located here in downtown Raleigh. The fourth floor is home to all of the professor's offices, the registrar's office, and academic support and bar success. Here in the registrar's office and the bar success, you can come and get help throughout the year on any of your courses where it's multiple choice problems, practice essays, as well as general tutoring. And when the time comes for submitting that bar application, you can get help throughout the application process as well as essay writing and multiple choice practice problems for the bar. The registrar's office is charged with creating the course schedule for the year, determining the amount of students that can be in each course, and the layout of all of the courses throughout the law school. Additionally, the professor's offices are here on the fourth floor and have an almost universal open door policy. When the professors are here, their doors are often open and inviting students to come in, meet with them, and discuss the course and answer any questions that they may have. While some of our professors are adjuncts and may have offices elsewhere, they still have office hours that allow students to meet with them at a set time. Welcome to the Dean's Suite, home of the Dean's Conference Room, the largest conference room at Campbell Law School, as well as the offices of four of our senior deans. The Dean's Conference Room is home to the Lunch with the Bench series, a monthly series where judges come throughout the state, whether it's federal, state, or county judges, to meet with students, have lunch, and discuss what it's like to be on the bench. The Dean's Conference Room is also just like the professor's offices, with almost open access to all of the deans at any time you need. Campbell Law students also have the unique opportunity to have hundreds of externships here in downtown Raleigh, thanks to our unique position. From here in the Dean's Conference Room, you can see almost to the Governor's Mansion, the General Assembly, as well as all the state court systems and the federal courts that are housed here in Raleigh. It's a unique opportunity to be on top of all of the action when it comes to law in North Carolina. At Campbell Law School, we have five clinics that allow for students to get hands-on experience in the practice of law. Here are our offices for the Senior Law Clinic. We also have a restorative justice clinic, bankruptcy clinic housed in the federal bankruptcy courts, the Blanchard Community Law Clinic, which is located in an office downtown, and the newly established Business Law Clinic here at HQ Raleigh in downtown Raleigh. These clinics provide students the opportunity to work with real clients, actually go to court and practice law with the supervision of the director, which is a supervising attorney licensed in the state of North Carolina. It is a rare opportunity to get four credit hours for a class, as well as that real world experience that's necessary to moving forward in your legal career. The third floor has the majority of our classrooms, as well as the legal writing suite. As part of the mandatory curriculum, legal writing is offered for the first year students in, in legal writing one and legal writing two, as well as advanced legal writing, which is a second year course. This course provides the opportunity for students to learn how to do research, write memos, write trial briefs, and other higher level briefs for legal writing that is necessary in your internships, externships, and your future careers as an attorney. The advocacy program at Campbell Law School has recently been ranked as the 15th best advocacy program by U.S. News & World Report through all, all law schools across the country. Here is our advocacy suite, home to the Director of Advocacy's office, as well as additional offices for students and advocates to prepare for their trials or their competitions. The advocacy department encompasses two things. The mandatory trial advocacy courses that are offered here at Campbell Law School where every student will put on a full trial before they graduate. This is also home to our advocacy department, which has moot court teams that do appellate practice as well as our trial competition teams that both travel throughout the country in all sorts of national championships and various competitions competing against law schools all over the country. In 2019, Campbell Law advocate Tatiana Terry brought home our second Top Gun competition trophy. Top Gun is a competition where one individual student with the help of one co-counsel litigates an entire case with only 24 hours of preparation. This $10,000 grand prize competition has been won by Campbell Law School and is one of the premier trial advocacy competitions in the country. Additionally, in 2019, Campbell Law Advocates also brought home the International Client Competition Championship, taking down teams from all over the world at a competition that was based in Ireland. 
Welcome to the Eugene Boys Center of Advocacy. This is one of Campbell Law School's three fully functional courtrooms. We have some of the top of the line technology as far as courtroom document projections goes, as well as the use of evidence for juries and all of the other attorneys that may be featured during this courtroom presentations. This is where you will have your trial advocacy courses as well as practices for your travel teams, whether it be moot court or trial advocacy. Additionally, this courtroom is often home to Court of Appeals arguments, where the North Carolina Court of Appeals walks over the two blocks from the court to have arguments here, to give the students an opportunity to see the advocates in real life on a real case. This is a typical classroom size at Campbell Law School. But this is a good representation of what the size of a classroom looks like and how you will be set up while you are learning from your professors. On the second floor, Campbell Law School has the student commons. Here, you will find students hanging out throughout the day, primarily through the noon to one o'clock lunch hour when there are no classes being held. In the commons, we have Java City, a coffee shop that also serves small sandwiches and scones and muffins. And we also have vending machines, microwaves and refrigerators for students to bring their own lunch and be able to have lunch here on campus in between their classes. The second floor is also home to our student offices. We have the Law Review, which is a scholarly publication controlled by students, as well as the Campbell Law Observer, which is more of news and current event articles about the law. We also have the Old Kivet Advocacy Council, which puts on intramural competitions in trial advocacy and moot court. We have the Honor Court, which oversees the Honor Code and punishes students for violations of the Honor Code. And finally, we have the Student Bar Association, which is our student government as a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, as well as individual class representatives for each of the three law school classes. The Campbell Law School Law Library is the perfect place to meet all of your educational needs. Here we have a variety of study materials, individual desks, tables, and study rooms for you to be able to come in after class or before class to read and prepare all of your materials that are necessary for succeeding in law school. We have a staff full of librarians that will assist in any of your research needs, as well as a large circulation desk that has study materials and extra resources to go that extra mile in your classes. The Law Library is also where you will learn to do your bricks and mortar style research. During your legal research and writing courses that you'll have in your first year, you will use some of the actual state of North Carolina statutes, casebooks, as well as federal regulations, laws, and casebooks to learn how to do research and writing based off of these rules and regulations. The Law Library is the perfect place to come to do all of your studying and reading and really have a peace of mind that you have a place here at Campbell. The Pope Foyer is a great place to relax and get away in between classes, but it's also a great event space. The Pope Foyer is the primary event location for Campbell Law School, where we can host over 200 people for a seated and catered meal. The Pope Foyer is also where we have our admissions office and our financial aid offices. Campbell Law School has an energetic career and professional development center. From day one, the staff is charged with helping you secure those internships, externships, and future employment as a licensed attorney when the time comes. They have offer a range of resources such as resume building, on-campus interviews from the top law firms in Raleigh, and mock interviews for our students. Welcome to room 105. This is our largest classroom and where you'll have some classes, attend panels, guest speakers, and many other events here at the law school. Campbell Law School is home to three museum quality exhibits. The first African Americans on the North Carolina Bench exhibit features photographs, press clips, letters, and personal effects of the state's first black judges. Dean Leonard said when the exhibit was unveiled, law students need beacons, and it is important for the walls of our school to chronicle the stories of outstanding men and women who, against difficult odds, rose to the top of our profession. The exhibit was part of Campbell Law's ongoing, year-long 1040 celebration in 2019 marking both the 40th anniversary of the school's first graduating class 
and the 10th anniversary of its move from Bowie's Creek to downtown Raleigh. The First Ladies of the North Carolina Judiciary contains rare archival and photographic exhibits. It chronicles the first North Carolina women to break a number of judicial barriers, starting with the Chief Justice Susie Sharp's 1949 appointment as a Superior Court Judge. In the early 1800s, Chief Justice Marshall traveled to Raleigh twice a year to convene North Carolina Circuit Court and preside over the courts in the Fifth Circuit of Virginia and North Carolina. In 2017, Dean Leonard met the Chief Justice's great-great-granddaughter who entrusted the Dean with a storied piece of Americana in the form of Marshall's rocking chair. Research revealed it was most likely built by the Day Brothers, pre-Civil War free African-American brothers who were North Carolina's premier furniture makers. These sculptures, just like Campbell Law School, have their origin and foundations in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, but now find themselves here in beautiful downtown Raleigh. Thank you for joining me on this virtual tour. I hope I can find you here at Campbell Law School very soon. <laughs>